Hey guys, we're back. We just finished our elution of 5 mils of buffer QF and now we're going to add 3.5 milliliters of isopropanol. So I'm going to take off my MIDI prep column very carefully. Hopefully I'm not going to spill everything all over the place. And I actually like to try to get all of this stuff out of this that I can. So we can see that there's a little bit of a residual liquid there. So I'm just going to get a P200 and try to pull off as much of that liquid as I can. So that was about 100 mil microliters, maybe 200. I'm going to do that one more time. Oops. Maybe two more times. There we go. That's good enough. Okay. That's junk. We can get rid of that. And now we're just going to add our isopropanol. So this is 100% isopropanol. And we're going to cool it. This is going to precipitate out the DNA. We're going we're gonna to pellet that. And then we're going to be able to pour off everything else. And we're going to have just a DNA pellet, which we're going to be able to resuspend. So I have my P1000. It's set to 1000 microliters, or 1 milliliter. I'm going to pull up 1 mil. And you have to be careful when you're pipetting alcohols, because their vapor properties are kind of weird and behave unexpectedly. Um, I guess what that means is sometimes if you're trying to pull it up, you might get splash on the bottom of your pipette and it will contaminate it. So here's three. I'm going to change my P1000 to 500 microliters. So six, five. Lock it in. Pull up 500 microliters. Eject it in. Close the isopropanol. Eject the tip. And screw this guy shut. I'm going to give it a quick buzz on the vortex. I'm going to tap it down. And it's going to go into the freezer. And it's going to sit in the freezer for about 5 to 10 minutes. I like to keep it upright, so I'm just going to put it back in there and I'm going to leave it over. So. We'll be back, we're going to spin it down in the centrifuge, we're going to get a pellet and resuspend it, and then we'll be uh, going on to the next part of the mini prep. 